So shine and it can lack it. I'm in the universe, fragging, freaking discipline. Vanish, walking on earth, so enchanted. Shuts and will do. I'm the Naki Giant. Welcome to my channel, man. Red Shock Spiritual. If you like this video, man, like, share, subscribe. Tap in, man. So, what we got in this video, you know, Black 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 Conscious News Network, nigga. But what we got in this uh, video right here is, um, uh, can, um, so apparently, um, Charleston White, he talked about some because King Von Mom says something like, I don't know, bro, somebody said something to where somebody related to King Von talking about some. They seen Charleston White, but they ain't hit him because cops was right there. So, right here it say okay dear king von mother you know rp the king von feel me i don't like to see black people go down but it's say i actually met this great young king and shook the legendary hand that put the trick of the slump in hum king von and da 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 and then he called him goddamn ah the demon slayer I'm talking about he's smoking on the von pack so <clears throat> so what i really want to talk about in this video man it's like bro for one, <laughs> this dude, Lil Tim, really had nothing to do with it. Now, Lil Dirk sacrificed King Von, whether anybody want to believe it or not. I don't know how much more, like, I don't understand how much people going to keep denying it. This dude, <laughs> this dude literally, this dude literally, Lil Dirk career done blew up b bigger than ever before, ever since Lil Dirk, or ever since King Von passed. This dude career done jumped to the moon, literally. This dude been rapping for how many? He got a Grammy too. He even got a Grammy. <laughs> bro done went nuts. Bro did everything a rap artist could think of or could want ever since Vaughn passed away. So when we sit here and say this side down the third, I don't know how y'all think we lying. So just so by knowing that, bro, Lil Tim didn't have nothing to do with that shit, man. Now, of course, he was the fall guy. But why do you think he didn't even go to jail? How much you in the bed? This dude probably had a whole case that restricted him from using... He couldn't even use gun. I don't even know, bro. But <laughs> he didn't even go to jail for that at all. How is, is two people fighting and you on the sidelines going to just put a trigger? Nigga, if I do that, nigga, you know I'm going to jail. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. I feel like I would go to jail, too. But... And plus, nobody else using guns. So they'll probably hit you with a why you using guns. I don't know, bro. But what I want to say, man, Charleston White, I'm going to be rich. Charleston White, I did look at him as a, as a, um, as a, he like, he was cool at first when he started coming out and shit, when he really blew up. But it's like, I don't know, like, he fell into a weird side, man. I don't understand, like, bro, for me, I, I, I would consider myself a black activist, a black leader, somebody that speaks for the people, somebody that, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't condone the the um I wouldn't condone the the murder of our people, man. Because it's like, bro, we we losing every day. What do we? Where do we, I mean? It, I, I understand. It's cool to listen to the music sometimes. Okay, whatever, bro. But it's like, cause I don't want to be too too strict. But it's like, it's like, come on, man. Like our people dying every day. We the last in the economy. We don't got no money in our communities. We the ones that's dying the most. Why is it funny to make fun of our death? Like, whether King Von deserves it or not. Because I'm pretty sure, like, no disrespect, he probably did deserve it, bro. Because he done did a lot of dirt. You know what I'm saying? So karma was going to head up with him regardless. But it's like, the glorifying of somebody's death ain't even cool. Like, I'm going to be real. King Von probably did deserve it. He was glorifying people's death. Like, he definitely deserved it, probably. We could, I think we can agree on that. But it's like, when you, when you sit here and glorify another man's death man that stuff starts to that's that thing that type of thing starts to become normal and everybody glorifying the death of him and he was doing like why can't y'all glorify the death of somebody like queen elizabeth why ain't y'all glorifying the death of a politician y'all sit here and glorify the death of people that honestly got trapped off in the system and in society Think about, okay, we can understand King Von did dirt. This person did dirt. This person did dirt. But it's like, think about why. Why did they do the dirt in the first place? Because the system we live in is making us do dirt. 
why do you think people join the streets specifically to make money they don't have no guidance they want to make some money you know how dumb people is nowadays we they people be having money scammers in the streets you in the streets just to be in the streets to look good so you can tell who's really who really but who's really fake but who's trying to fit in but it's like dude sometimes you gotta ask yourself why is this person out here doing all this? Why is this person doing all this to get money? I ain't gonna say it's the best, it's the right thing to do. Think about a prostitute. Why is she doing this for money? If you want to think about it, like it ain't the best thing to do. It could be unrighteous, but you got to realize what world we living in, man. Like we living in hell. So sometimes you got to realize the world we live in, it make people do things. So I ain't trying to condone it. Don't do it. You feel me? But it's like, Sometimes you gotta put yourself in their shoes. You never know what somebody had, somebody seen growing up or how somebody was taught. You never know. You never know how life ended up for the next person. But then again, it's just me saying, like, man, I, it ain't cool to glorify people death, especially well, well, black people, because we need the most help. It's good to glorify glorify a, a colonizer death, because the colonizers are the one that stole us from our history, stole us from our land. Did this kind of thing like you can go the list can go on and on of what non blacks did to us. So, if you were to and, and what politicians did, even some like what if Anthony Fauci passed away? You already know how weird he is. Bill Gates would have passed away. What if these individuals passed away? You know, I'm gonna be saying certain things, yes, but I have a reason, a righteous reason because they're the ones responsible for everything wrong in the world, man. But that's the kind of decision for another day. But with Charles the right, I disagree, and I think he, and he really come out to be. And I don't even I don't even use this word. He coming out to be like an agent, man. Like why you like he in the community? Like he's starting to preach a lot of bull, like a lot of BS, a lot of stuff he was saying like like three years ago, two years ago. It was cool, but he's like he don't he don't, he's he fall into a more negative side. And I feel like I feel like man, we can't be talking about people death, man, because you might you never know when your day coming. You want to talk about this person death, but then you die the same way. You go out the same way. So you got to be careful what you say out your mouth, how you carry yourself. You got to be careful because this world don't play for nobody. You got to be careful. And Charleston White, I don't know how long he got, man. I know the Illuminati not going to do nothing to him because now he's speaking a lot of BS that's separating. But he definitely was speaking a lot of truth, though. But I'm going to be real with him. He's very controversial. I can get at him. He speak his mind, but a lot of stuff he say, I agree with. A lot of stuff he say, I don't agree with. But it's just me saying to everybody watching this, bro, it ain't cool to disrespect somebody different. You know what I'm saying? When well, in an unrighteous manner, like you feel me? Like you just gotta have discernment, and you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to attract something to you. Remember BTP Savage, that rapper. You feel me? He uh he had an altercation with like a blood member, a mob ties member. Okay, he survived the altercation, killed the wooty whoop, or the girl did whatever. But he started flexing. He took a picture on the on the dude deathbed. But it's like then next you know he died. Like not too long after. It's like you just got to if you're doing certain stuff, you got to just be. You just got to move a certain way, man. Cause I know if I did that, I'm not about to be in the same city. <laughs> I'm gonna take them pictures and then post them pictures when I'm long gone. But other than that, but I, I but I can understand like okay, you nigga, you won, nigga. I mean, I, I I probably would end up doing the same. Like if somebody tried to kill me, nigga, like oh yeah, like man, that nigga dead. Fuck, him. like I, I would have that feeling too. You just gotta know how to move, man. Because if you don't move right, I ain't gonna say karma will get you, but it's like a certain energy will get you. If you like this video, man, let's just subscribe, man. Just push the channel. Especially, man. So shine and it can lack in the universe, fragging, breaking, disappearing, vanish, walking on earth. So enchanted, shit, and will do.